on the way. They got to try to get the edge on the outside. Hurdling to the sideline. Freshman, he can be very dangerous back there at the 10. And a fair catch. He throws it. Clemson with the recovery. The Tigers pounce right away. Balin Spector with the recovery. That's one in Thomas, a really experienced return man. Excellent, you know, sure receiver of the football. Just doesn't judge it correctly. Good coverage there for the recovery. He's going to keep it. Lines for the end zone. Touchdown. First touchdown of the season goes to the quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, on a keeper. Come on the zone read. Great decision. Walk into the end zone for Trevor Lawrence. Oliver has him moving early. Long play. Thomas giving chase and a big loss. Xavier Thomas, the All-America candidate, terrific edge rusher. That was all over him. And they're going to read Thomas right here, but he just gets up the field so fast, and he blows up that mesh point before the quarterback can ever put the ball into the belly of the back. Xavier Thomas, another one of those guys that is a freakish. Harbin, an outstanding punter. And he will take it at the 15. Back. Second and ten for Lawrence. ETN has a hole to the 40. Ball comes loose. Georgia Tech says they have it. But they're saying he was down. All right, we're going to get the call here from Trey Blake. After review, the runner lost possession prior to being down, and there was immediate recovery by the defense. It would be Georgia Tech's ball, first and ten at the 41 yards. A look at this roll. Short and incomplete. Carter, the intended receiver. First and 20. ETN. Trying to bounce outside. To the 30. He's loose. To midfield. To the 30. 20. 10. Touchdown. 90 yards. The lag draw, the block, and then you see the power and the speed of Travis Etienne. Let's say. Oliver trying to keep it. Right down the heart, gets to the 40, gets to the sideline for the 50, almost, and knocked out of play. See it? It's another read. They fake to the back, Mason, and then it's just Oliver right up the gut. They talk about him maybe being the best athlete on the. Off the play action is Dixon, but nothing there. Bruce Jordan swelling. Another important call, fairly low snap. And it's loose. A fumble recovered by the Tigers. And it's option football. You see it there. Oliver puts it in the belly of the back. Griffin never really has a good hold on it, and then Chad Smith is right there, face on the football, and that's how it comes loose. First and ten for Clemson. The handoff, and all the way through ETN, just like that. His second touchdown tonight, 14-yard touchdown run. They get the ball down deep in your own, and another Travis ETN walk into the end zone. Third down. Trying to keep it. Breaks free across the 40 and finally dragged down. 115 yard rushing day against Virginia Tech last season. He rushed for nearly 900 yards. On a carry off tackle and a broken tackle. Nice drive there by Mason as he stayed on his feet. Lawrence, the Heisman Trophy candidate. 
Clemson has never won. Oh. And he throws the pick, an interception by Georgia Tech. It's swelling, trying for the end zone, and he's pushed out. And it was Trevor Lawrence who had to recover to make the tackle to prevent the touchdown. But when you see this thing run, it's Bell, and, and Swilling just makes a great read and break on the football. That's an outstanding play by Swilling. And he is having an absolute night. Lawrence intercepted four times all of them. Holler rolling right to the end zone. Batted up, intercepted. Clemson comes away with a Johnson with the pick. And what a stop by the Tigers. Clemson group. Really, it's a little play action rollout. It, it looks like he has Jalen Camp in the corner of the end zone. Just not able to get it up and down. Looks like Skalski, the middle linebacker, pursuing, gets his hand up, and that's what knocks the football. Lawrence out of the gun, looking downfield, looking deep, looking for Higgins, and Nugs there, he caught it! He came up with it! He is into the end zone! Touchdown! What a grab by Higgins! 62 yards for the Tigers! Ball deep down the field with defenders at your legs, unable to step into the throw. Give T. Higgins the ability to go up and fight for that ball. It's not 50-50, it's 80-20. Impressive by T. Higgins. And 10 rushes, 145 yards already. And another play that merits nothing for Georgia Tech. Oliver tied up by Spectre. Hendrick back again at the 20. And he booms that with a fair catch back inside the 20-yard line. Looking downfield, winding up right over the middle, and caught by Higgins for a big first down. Low snap. Johnson steps up in the pocket. More coverage by Tyler Davis. You give Clemson an opportunity, still having a timeout, to get the ball back, potentially in decent field position. Low punt. He'll take it right there. The way it did against Alabama in the national championship game. On the move again. Evades one tackler and he'll throw that. It's going to be picked off as he makes a mistake. Fumbled. And Georgia Tech retrieves it. Caleb Oliver. Third and 18 right away on the low snap. Oliver stepping up. Nowhere to run. Xavier Thomas and Tyler Davis met him. He'll take the football again, he breaks it. Across the 30, he's off to the races, and he's in the end zone. 48 yards and a touchdown. I mentioned the big fellas, you see him pulling around there, sealing it off to see Simpson, that gets it to the end of the open field, and he's shown us that he has the speed. Oliver with the pitch. Mason. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. It's yeah, an impressive three-play drive capped off by a little option offense down near the goal line. And into the red zone again, this time without a turnover. And a handoff. That's Dixon. He's loose. He's into the end zone. Touchdown. From 18 yards. And the Tigers punch in another one. Game. Watch it how he gets up to the second level. Gets up to the middle linebacker. That allows for the cutback to Dixon, which is why he's able to get into the end zone. Good job of pushing the double team, getting up to the second level, keeping your feet for a big guy. And 10 for the Yellow Jackets. Oliver. Quick pass and intercepted by Muse. Turnover, Georgia Tech. It was tipped by Spectre. You see Oliver trying to just kind of work a little option route to the tight end. Spectre runs underneath it. Well, that's just good job playing the football by Tanner Muse. Running to the football, good things happen on defense. 
Ball gets tipped in the air for quarterbacks. Tips and overthrows. Kind of your biggest nightmare. You would not be surprised, and it looks like as this defense has taken over. Rancher trying to dive inside to bring up fourth down. Third and 12 for Graham. On the move to the 10. Did not cut back inside. Out he goes. Here's have looked like that. 42-7. Presley hangs one high. Kendrick with the fair catch. A 42-7 lead for the champions. Looking for the end zone. Touchdown. Ladson with the catch beating Swilling. And a sensational grab in the end zone. Georgia take, Roke takes the coverage, which means it's Swilling man-to-man -man on Frank Ladson. He gets over the top. But there is no defense for a perfect throw, which that was by Chase Bryce. Looks like he even brings that in with just one hand. Frank Latson got that kind of flashed early, even before Engada, as a as in a kind of an early enrollee. Hold to a 49 to 7 lead over Georgia Tech on the low snap. Graham wants to go deep, headed for the end zone, and a touchdown. The strike for Brown, the freshman from Tampa. For six. Want to have Amari and Brown, get Brown give him some wrinkles. Well, here's one late running by Kayvon Wallace for the touchdown. One yards. Hey, hey. E.T. Potter. It's a leg into it. And it is good. Great all-access programming like that coming your way on ACC Network. So coming up in the last six minutes of this one. Question was how many for the Tigers? Graham will rumble through the center. You know, this one is off to, to another start where you know, you're going to look at the guys that participated in games, young players, true freshmen, walk-ons, guys like that, that end up feeling like they're a real big part of this program. Two-point victory for the Tigers, so it was razor thin. Well, it was a different Clemson team, there's no question about that. Up and down the schedule. Well, they have lived up to that tonight. With ease, really, on top 52 to 14, trying to break off another one on a run. It's Pumachad who's now into the ball game. Pumachad to keep and gets across. And who knows? Maybe Alabama waiting for them again. They'll tiptoe out on that far side. He'll shank one. He said he could have done that in three seconds. That's so one thing he doesn't do well. Bumachad spinning inside. The running back, Travis Etienne. <laughs> Etienne, 12 carries, 205 yards. So this one in the books is a big Tiger victory, 52-14. to 14.